everybody welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial if you're brand new to my channel my name is Joni Yen and I'm an acrylic artist and instructor I love to teach and inspire you new ways to paint today we're gonna be painting lemons so this is my first tutorial um, sharing with you how I paint lemons I've broke it down to, into a really simple few easy steps so everybody watching can follow along and we've got colors here on the side. I'll have a full list of all of those below this video along with the brushes we're using and the canvas. Let's just go over them now though. Up here I've got titanium white and then I've got a luminous lemon yellow, cadmium yellow, burnt sienna, dioxazine violet, some sap green. I have a 10 by 20 inch stretched canvas. The following brushes, a one inch mop brush, 30 filbert brush, a quarter inch dagger brush, and a number 14 filbert brush. Now, if you don't have these same brushes, use anything a little smaller, similar, or even a little larger. Let's go ahead and get started. The first brush we'll be using is the small filbert brush. Now, I'm not gonna paint the background first like I normally do in my tutorials. Today, we're gonna be painting the lemons first and then shape around those um, and fill in the background and then we'll be adding our stem branch and leaves So we're just gonna get it the brush a little bit wet like this catch any drips. You don't want it too wet I'm gonna start off with My bright luminous lemon yellow and I'm gonna add a lemon up here now think of an almond shape or an oval shape and we're gonna place it on the side like diagonally so we're just gonna start with a little rounded point on the top and then we're going to go arch arch here till we till you've got that shape then we're going to come out and make a little rounded triangle for the bottom of the lemon we're going to come around and just start painting it in lightly and i'm going to leave a little bit of a white area for a shine Okay, now we're going to add another lemon. We're going to build up uh, the colors and tones, highlights and shadows as we move along, but I want to paint the three lemons with this color of luminous lemon yellow first. So we've got our first lemon there, and that one's kind of turned like this on, a, on its side. Let's have this one like this. So we'll do the same thing. A little bit pointy on the top, pull it out. Bring it around and then our little roundish triangle for the end of the lemon. We're gonna leave a little white area right in here. So you can just kind of dry brush. And already we're starting to get that texture of the lemon peel. Okay, and let's move on to our third lemon. And maybe we'll just add it right here Start off with the same little point at the top. Leave our little shiny white highlighted area here. And then our little pointy end of the lemon rounded triangle. Easy, right? For the next color, Without washing the brush off, we're gonna go right into our cadmium yellow. We're gonna start going around and outlining. We're gonna pull that through and make that separate from our rounded triangle bit here. Cause it pops out and then it makes a little shadow right in here. So we'll outline that as well. And then we're just gonna start to Stumble around and then leave our bright lemon yellow and white area. We're going to do the same thing here. Time for our third one. We're going to paint it the same way. A 
Okay, not washing my brush out. The third color, we're gonna take a little bit of burnt sienna and we're gonna add some shadows now. So we're gonna go around the outer edge. We're gonna lightly pull through in between that rounded triangle part. And then we're gonna make it a little tappy here and create a little bit of a texture. And we'll have a shadow here from some of the leaves. Okay, let's take a little bit more and move on to the next one. We're gonna have some shadows in here as well. It's gonna be wider here, so thinner here, and then we're gonna push a little bit harder. How are you guys doing so far? Are you all following along okay? Let me know how you find this tutorial. Leave me a comment below this video. I love reading your comments and hearing from you guys. Keep it positive. And same here. Okay, so we've got some lemons. three lemons with our shadows. Let's go back into our little bit of cadmium yellow and add that in this little bit, the bottom of the lemon. We're gonna take the cadmium yellow and load the belly or the bottom of the brush. Now we're gonna create a little bit of texture on that lemon peel by tapping the colors on there. Take a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush out now. You want a nice clean brush. I'm gonna take the lemon yellow, the bright one, and we're gonna start to tap that over and saturate these lemons. Again, just using one side or the belly of the brush. This is going to give us that texture. Can add a little dab of it on the little end, like right there, if you want. It's going to dry darker there because we're adding this luminous color, which is transparent over top of the darker color, but it will just make it a little bit more saturated in color. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit more burnt sienna and I'm just a tiny bit of purple. Tiny bit, work out that paint so you don't have too, too much in your brush. And we're gonna come in between our the little bottom piece of the lemon and around the edge. We're gonna tap in for a little bit more texture and shadows. So narrower there, narrow, and then push and use the full width of the brush in the thicker, fuller, shadowy areas. Okay, rinsing out my brush again. We're gonna come in and cut around our lemons now with this brush 
and then we'll eventually switch this brush to fill in the larger areas. So I'm going to be using a combination of purple, white, and some burnt sienna to keep it a nice warm shade of purple. And I'll show you what a pretty color that this makes. So a scoop of white, purple, and burnt sienna. And we're going to come in and just outline our lemons. Now your background color doesn't need to be the exact same shade throughout. In fact, I encourage you to pick up and use a little bit more burnt sienna and white sometimes. That way we get different lighting and it just makes the background more interesting. See, it's almost like a sh plum shade, a smoky plum. Okay, let's add those colors again. I'm just gonna cut in and shade around. Again, just with a smaller filbert. I like using filbert brushes for this step because it's rounded and I can easily follow the lines, the rounded lines of the lemons. It just makes it easier to outline. Take a little bit more white because I know this is going to dry darker. I'm just going to release the rest of the paint in my brush before I wash it and switch over to my larger one. Okay, so I'm going to take my 30 filbert purple burnt sienna and we're going to finish filling in the background. Now if you wanted to use a quinacridone magenta or crimson or violet more of like a one of these that would be really pretty too. I think you could do like a trio. If I had enough wall space, I would paint a trio of these and have different colored backgrounds. This one would be um, more on the pinky reddish side. And then I think I would do another one with a background combination of blue. So I've got phthalo turquoise and phthalo blue, actually an even cobalt blue mixed with that would be really pretty. So, this is kind of fun to paint over and over using a different background color. If you guys want to see more, any more fruit or even vegetable tutorials, uh, let me know in the comments below. I've got a few in mind and I haven't I don't think I've painted any. This is probably the first one I've done. Okay, so let's continue along. You can use a little bit of water here and there. It helps release the paint out. Depends what kind of paint you're working with. I've got heavy bodied acrylics. Depends on if the paint is drying really quickly in your in your room if you've got it if the temperature is really warm it's really hot in your room that's gonna make your acrylics dry really quickly
Okay, so once you've got it, the color or colors that you want it, make sure you remember to rinse your brush off. And you're probably wondering what I had this brush out for. This is to just go over and lightly blur out any harsh brush strokes. So the brush is dry. All I'm doing is just adding these little circles to work out any of those thicker areas and streaky looking spots. This is a really nice way to create an airbrushed background and blend your acrylics out where you want them to be really soft looking. Okay, so we're ready for the next step. We're gonna completely dry this off. That'll be the next step. And then we're gonna start using our dagger brush for the main stem and branches or a little a branch and a few little stems and some leaves. Get it a little bit wet. We're gonna take some green and some lemon yellow, a little bit of white, and we're gonna start with coming off the top here and I'm just kind of curling over a little bit We're going to pull down and around, just connecting all the lemons. So curl down and right here, making it a little bit thicker at the base. We don't want to forget about this one here. a little thicker right there a little bit more green and yellow gently push and sweep okay and then we're gonna take some white without washing the brush off you don't have to we're gonna come and add the white inside this is gonna make it th look more three-dimensional We'll rinse the brush out. Then I'm going to take some green and a little bit of purple. We're just going to blend the two together, kind of just crisscross or make a figure eight. We're going to come around, outline the stem on the left side. only of each stem and the branch. Then we're going to add a little light little scoop below, leaving a part of the lemon visible. We're going to take that color again, just a little bit of purple and you don't need a lot a little bit of purple and green we're gonna come and thinly shadow across a little area there that separates those two more shadow right here Okay, we're going to add our leaves now and I love using the dagger brush for painting leaves. It just makes it so easy and effortless. We're going to take some green and a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow. Green, white and yellow. We're going to start with the leaf on the top. So we're going to come right here gently with a point of pointy end of the brush, scoop Pull out and turn over, pull down, and then have a graceful 
turn like that. We're going to take some white, go in the middle, and then we're going to add a thin white outline. We'll take some more green this time, and we're going to come in inside. Paint that in. This green over top of the purple will give us the nice shadow color shadows that we need. Okay, so we're just going to do the same thing for our next leaf, green, white, and yellow. And this leaf is going to come over top of a little bit of each of these lemons. So we're going to come right over here, go around. Make it pointy on the end. Paint it in. Now, if you don't want to go over your stem or main branch, then you can add your leaf in another area if you want. So we're just painting inside. We we'll take a little bit of yellow, a little bit of white. I need the white mixed with the yellow and the green to prevent the leaf from looking see-through and seeing the stem. And we're still going to see it a little bit. I might have to go over it again. So let's take some white now. And we're going to go inside a little stem part there. And then we're going to outline. And lemon leaves can be a little jaggedy on the ends, so you can shake a bit just to get a little bit of that shape that they have. Okay, let's come in and add our third leaf now, white, yellow, and green again. And we'll have it just coming out from here, a little stem. Let's paint it in green. But see how you push for width and then let off and it becomes like a liner brush it's kind of a two-in-one brush let's take white outline Take a little bit of the yellowy green now. And we're going to come inside and start adding some highlights and some lines. So we'll pull, pull, pull for thinner lines and then have a little bit of white yellow and green for the center. We'll take a little bit more white here 
We're going to have a light hitting this part of the leaf a little more and then just pulling a little bit out this way as well. That yellow green again. And there is a little bit of white in it. Add a line down the middle and then push and fan out. Let's take a little bit more white this time. And add some more lines for the pattern. Get rid of the excess paint if it's building up in your brush. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit more of my yellow and white. And I'm going to add a little bit of a shine highlight here. Have the light hitting it and making that leaf look shiny. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Take a little bit of green with it. And then a little bit of extra white right in here. A little bit less white this time and just get a little bit of color right in there and we're going to do the same thing here don't bring it out to the edge though we're going to bring it like three quarters of the way throughout the leaf A little bit more yellow, white, touch of green. And now with a clean brush, I've washed it out. I'm going to take a little bit of purple and green again. And we're going to make some nice, dark, contrasting shadows. We're going to come in here, get as close to that white outline as we can. Okay, right here, and then we're just going to gently blend it in towards the center. We're going to cut in right here, add a shadow, I'm going to take a little bit of extra green and I'm going to fan and blend in between the light and the darkest area to gray to get a little bit more. And I'm just adding just a little touch of shadow there on the side. Okay, now we're going to come in with the green and purple again. I'm going to start from just inside here. Again, get really close 
with a white outline. Pull, pull, pull. And then what this does is it gives your leaves a little bit of a curl to them and a little bit more shape. It's going to take them from flat to 3D. So see how I use the pointy end of the brush and then just pull and scoop around just a little bit right there. Okay, we're going to come in with a little bit more right along the left side. Shade that in. Outline that again and a little bit right there. I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to take some more of my lemon yellow and I'm going to start to go over the lemons, going over the lemons with my lemon yellow. no water and see when you just kind of drag it over like that you're left with the a texture and a rougher texture so that it looks like lemon peel Just add a bit right down there. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of cadmium yellow for that. I'm going to take a little bit more yellow and green and white. And I'm going to add a little bit more light. Using the tiniest bit of water now, I just added it. So I'm letting you guys know if and when and how much water I'm adding. Just a few little touches. A little bit of white. Add a few little faint lines in there. You know, the only thing, this painting is pretty much all done. You can call it done uh, right now at this stage. But I just want to add a little bit of luminous orange to my lemon and make this stand out even more. So I'll take a little bit of the yellow and the orange. And I'm going to add it over here. So 
So you just a little touch here and there can be so pretty. Okay, so this painting is all done. I really, really had fun showing you how to paint lemons today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments below. Have fun painting your own. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel here and join Patreon where I've got tons of exclusive special content and videos waiting for you. And I want to wish you guys all the best. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon in another video. Take care. Bye.